final reason why it's so we're here, it's awesome. As my trip to Korea is coming close to an end, we're here in Seoul, back in Seoul, in Sungmyungdong Gate. Today, I want to show you a little bit around the subway system in Korea. It has really blown my mind as a public transportation user in the United States. There is so much we can learn and so many things are easy to implement. So come with me and let me show you. Nam Daemun Underground Shopping Center, which is all connected. Well, might be connected, maybe not. But we're gonna go to this station where I wanna go over the subway. I came to a random station, so I'm in Hoyong Station. First thing I wanna point out is every single exit on every single station is marked with a number. So whenever you use neighbor map, like it's the Google Maps here, it tells you which exit to enter with an entrance number and what exit to go, go out, which immediately tells you to optimize the corner where you're gonna be and etc. So that helps a lot. We don't have that in the States and, and or at least in New York. This is very helpful. Now let's check this out. If you are a lost tourist, you have this digital kind of like help here that kind of shows you where you are, right? So it gives you like the whole idea where you are. These are the exits that I keep saying. It shows you like all of the businesses that are in the station, how deep it's gonna go, where the train is, etc. Oh, it has a timetable, it's kind of cool. These are your standard machine just to buy the ticket. Uh, they have different languages. No Espanol, baila. I got, already got my card, so I just wanted to show you this. This card at the end will give me a deposit, so when I put it back here, I'm just gonna get money back. So let's find out. Here's the card. Oh. Sometimes. Now, obviously, it's not a lot of money, but it is money. That's how you don't end up with a thousand metro cards on the floor. Why New York didn't think of this? The orange one, it's a card that I got in Busan, for the subway in Busan. And then this one, I got it for Seoul. But, get ready, they both work on both cities, which means they figured it out. It clearly denotates which ones are for entry and exit, so not all of them are supposed to be working for both sides, which is something that we have in New York and people like conflict. So this is the entrance, that is the exit. That really helps with the flow. All right, here we go. My balance and I'm in the station now. Reason 113. Oh, what's going on, Korea? Is that broken stairs? No way. Wait, they're not broken. They have sensors so that they can save electricity and just be used when they need to. Uh, why didn't we think of that? Recent 77. The handrails over here are actually disinfected with UV light to make sure that it kills all the corona so that people grabbing this don't get infected. Ah, we didn't even think of that. We don't even have the capacity of doing that. I'm gonna show you. Check this out. UV disinfection. Most stations are gonna have two tracks on the same side, so it's gonna tell you here. The, the, the popular destinations, if you go that way. What if I go this way? Today we're gonna be going to Seoul Station. I already know that I'm coming this way. Super, super common to see these lockers that I used at the beginning of my trip. If you have bags or anything, you can just put them here, you pay with your credit card, and super safe. You can just save them here, and you can see the operation hours. The tourist system. Random <laughs> stores in the train. Very similar to New York, people stand on the right of the staircase and then people that are in a rush are just going to walk by. This is New York standard, but not every city does it, so worth mentioning. I also see this happening much more in Seoul than in Busan. So here we're here at the tracks. First thing to notice is there is always a glass door that protects the customers to the tracks. I have actually never seen the tracks until this moment that I kind of like peek there. You hear that music? That means the train is coming. Look at this subway station. Everything covered with dollars. That means that zero people in the track, zero accidents. This particular vending machine is super popular. Shows up all the time. 
Now this drink here supposedly is very good for the hangovers. So that's pretty good. And then obviously they have coffee. Sometimes they have hot stuff, but since it's the summer, everything is cold basically. But in the winter you can find hot stuff. Reason 97, real time map of where the train is. There is a lot of information to unpack here. If you don't speak Korean, this is perfect moment to realize all of the things they want to do to help you. First of all, they put the, um, I guess, English or whatever, like the our alphabet translation, and then it has a number. Every station is numbered. The first number is the number of the, of the line, and then the second number is the number of the stations. You can actually see here the map, the first station, and then it keeps going up all the way to 456. So this is how you know how many stations there are. Now, what you can see here is that the arrow points to the next destination that this trace is going. So we're in Hoyong, we're gonna be going to Seoul Station. So this is immediately how I know that this is the side that I need to take and not that side, because in that side, you can see the arrow is pointing the other way to Myeongdong. So just by doing that, I'm not gonna be lost and looking around like it also happens on the States. So this is, this is very, very helpful. The next thing to point out is these numbers over here. Every train has a number. So this is wagon number five and entrance number two. They have this on every single entrance because when you look at the direction online, they basically tell you which car to enter and which number to use so that it optimizes the exit. So if I put an address here, it will probably tell me to take 6-1 so that I can immediately exit and go outside. So that way you naturally spread the people waiting for the train because everybody knows what door they're supposed to get in and get out and the map online tells you. So that really helps people not crowding one car and distributing the load across. You also notice these things on the floor. I think I mentioned them before. Basically they're for accessibility. If you're blind, you just follow the floor and then you can know where all the exits are. But also for all the tourists, people like me that I don't know where I am, this shows me exactly where the exits are without me knowing. So I just need to follow the lines. You can see they go all the way in and all the way out. All right, the train is coming. So now what I want to point out is everybody starts on the sides, people come out and then we come in. inside the train. So they always have these announcements in English and in Korean. And the important thing is that it tells you which line you are, which station you're arriving, but it tells you the side of door. That arrow right there is key. We don't have that in New York. So you're always wondering which side is gonna open until you memorize them. But in here it tells you right away that the doors on the right are gonna be where we're gonna be exiting the train. We made it, it's all the station. Finally, different to the States, you tap when you exit because they charge you the, the, depending on the distance. So I go ahead and tap, and it tells me, okay, get out. And we back out, and now we're here trying to exit the station. But as I mentioned, this is a big station, so it has 15 different exits. And then they're all numbered so that you know where you're going. You can see here, I actually wanna go to number one which is all the station, so I wanna have some bingsu. So let's go. Just like I did in Busan, there is Namja Yong, Nam, Namja Yong Yong Wajan Shil, and then obviously the Joja Wajan Shil over there, which are bathrooms here on the subway. That's awesome. I used it and it's pretty legit. I could not imagine myself using the bathroom in the New York system, so point for Korea, subway system. All the exits and Naganun Kot, which means salida, way out. In Seoul, most popular stations are in English, Korean, Chinese, no Spanish. and more luck as well. This is the train station, so it makes sense to have a lot of lockers. Let's check this out. This is the 
bingsu. It's basically shaved ice with red beans. <laughs> they have other flavors, but red beans is the most popular one here. And by far it has the weirdest taste. <laughs> so that's what I got. So weird. <laughs> so strange. But it's so good. But it's ah, new flavors. Reason 35, you don't have to beg people to lend you a charger. They already come with it in all the cafes. Reason 313, the glasses are kept on the same fridge as the beer and soaking, so that it's freeze and freezing when you eat them. Ah, uh, why we didn't think of this? Reason 146, why Korea is amazing. A sampler eats three bottles of gin, vodka, and something else that we are there. Yeah, and it's just eighteen dollars. One more reason why it's so good here is awesome. 